Holy cow, this is insane! Yeah, that's me. This is a giant hole in the ground, and that is a chicken. Now, you're probably not wondering how this all happened, but pff, I'm gonna tell you anyway, suck it. This all started back in episode 4. Wait. Now that I've destroyed the end, where am I going to go to get my end fulfillment? I miss the end island. You see, the end island is somewhere special for me. I would always go there to clear my head after a long day's work. Ah, whoa! And sometimes my inventory. Just kidding, it's hardcore. Instantly I got to work. This is a 500 by 500 outline which I will dig out the insides and build the end island in the middle of. Maybe even in that order. It's hard to judge how large this area is. Oh, that's it. I, I don't know how- uh, there's- like I just said, it's hard to judge how big it is. If it weren't so large, any old fool could tell it's not the end just by seeing the overworld a few chunks away. Oh, and I know you're all asking yourselves, why did I choose specifically right here to build it? <clears throat> but Beppo, why aren't you just building the end island in the end dimension? And to that I say, just because you put syrup on something, don't make it pancakes. Okay, so I need to mine this entire 500 by 500 chunk completely empty so I can build the end island in it. Time to start digging. Just kidding, it's over 30 million blocks! What do you think I am? An XL3300 V rough terrain wheeled excavator with multi-channeling dual combo fiber banana pancake? Instantly I started constructing a world eater. What's a world eater? I'm glad I asked. A world eater works the same way as many upon a latrine. Hovers over the target while continually dropping bombs that slowly eat away at said target. Oh, wait, sorry, I was wrong. I needed honey first so that I could build the world eater. Instantly I started gathering bees for a honey farm. Bing bam boom, and alright, that should be enough. Get it? Like a bee? Boom! One bee farm finished. Yeah, that's a little bit slow. Oh yeah, 20 bee farms finished. That'll ramp it up. Alright, now I just need some quartz. Quartz? Oh, look at that! There's a baby strider on another strider. Oh, look at that! It disappeared suddenly. Hmm. Wonder how that happened. Alright, grab some cobblestone, redstone, craft up the supplies. Boom! That's a ton of honey. Now that we have all the supplies, allow phase one to begin. The world eater. <laughs> Ooh, uh oh. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I can't jump. I try the edge. Of the Aha! It worked on the edge. Suck it, science. I wonder if it's a bad thing that I'm making a machine that was built for version 1.15 while I'm in 1.18. Nah, it's probably fine. Since my memory is exactly what it used to be, I had to continually swap worlds to remember how to make the world eater. Two hours later, and it's done. Well, Part of it is, I still gotta construct the sweepers. These bad boys are supposed to remove any water or lava that could potentially get in the way. No, 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 no. Really? Why is the sweeper moving? Ah, I'm free, As you can see, I had it fully under control and no trouble at all making this machine because I never make mistakes. In fact, I can say without a doubt that 13 of the sweepers definitely did not go flying off into the distance for the rest of eternity and make me AFK even longer at the honey farm. And after all this pain and suffering, I discovered something much much worse. Hold up. For these sweepers to even work, I need to manually remove all these blocks down here because the TNT doesn't fall over here. It'll take me hours to remove all these blocks. I am such a moron. I hate my life. After 30 minutes of mining and removing less than 1% of the total blocks in that row, I found a better approach. Three, two, one. Aha! I knew this would work, I'm the smartest man alive! I will never die! Oh, whoop, almost died there. In a butt shell- <clears throat> In a nutshell, I made a small world eater so that I could have room for a bigger world eater. Anyway, this had its own array of issues, but I figure you don't care about them, so let's just skip when it's finished. Yay, look at that massive crevice. Looks like a giant earthquake took place here. The quake zone. Quake? Oats. Hmm. Now I'm just hungry. Okay, sorry, that was a lie. But honestly, this is on you for believing that I like Quaker Oats. What a sicko. With that, it is now time to move on to phase two. The eatening of the world. <laughs> okay, let's start the machine. Alright, so far the computer is barely handling this. I don't know if it's gonna be able to- My frame rate is like negative right now. This is not good. Oh no, no, no! The machine stopped working and half the sweepers somehow went the wrong direction. This in no way is my fault for messing up the machine that I have no clue how it works and was watching Psych while building it. So yeah, this is actually 100% my fault. But I'm so mad, I'm gonna blame literally anything else besides myself. Yeah, I don't like making complicated redstone machines very much. Simple fix though. Instead of one long line, I made five shorter lines. So simple in fact that it only took me three hours. Luckily from all this time spent, I learned important redstone skills that I can utilize for weeks, most likely days. Alright, and starting the machine? Okay, great. It completely broke, but it's okay. I think I might maybe know why. Possibly, maybe. 
possibly okay i'm just gonna go fix it and starting the machine for the first time ever without any problems beforehand aha i knew this would work now i'm just afk here overnight and hopefully it'll be a giant hole by the morning i actually afk'd in a box instead of this minecart i may be dumb but i'm no idiot and the big reveal oh no why is it not all destroyed I mean, a good eighth of it is destroyed. An eighth of the eighth. Oh, depression. Remember when I said this machine was built for 1.15, but it's probably fine? Me neither, but either way, it was definitely not fine. Turns out the sweepers were not up to snuff. Or I built them wrong. Either way, no matter how much time I spent, I couldn't figure out the problem with them. Man, I do not feel like figuring this out right now. Okay, fine, I spent two minutes and then gave up. But it's not really my fault, this machine is insanely complicated. I mean, look at these two screenshots. One is the world eater that I just made, and the other is a literal working computer in Minecraft. Can you guess which is which? Wrong, they're both the world eater. So I decided to do the dumb thing. Go through the entire 500 by 500 by 120 block chunk and remove all the water and lava manually. No, really, I'm 100% Serious. This took two days. I have severe depression. And I probably also missed some spots. But on the bright side, I wasted a ton more time trying to remove all the spawners in this area because caveman brain me thought TNT couldn't explode spawners. They can in case you morons are as dumb as me. The sweepers were not the only problem, but trust me, you do not want me to go into the details of why this didn't work. Mostly because I don't want me to go into the details of why this didn't work. I'm gonna blow this stupid contraption up because I have no clue why it doesn't work. And because of all you nerds out there, yes, I am blowing up with TNT, but it's okay. I'm grabbing pretty much all the resources that it drops. Hey, looks like somebody found a new tutorial for a world eater and I actually decided to test it beforehand in a separate world before spending like 10 hours building it just to find out it didn't work. Me, it was, it was me, I, I found the tutorial. All right, now all I have to do is remove all this obsidian. More bin, and turning on the machine. Uh, oh no. Oh, this is no bueno. Oh, uh, no, this is not working. Big problem, aha! I figured something out. Oh, only three are going. Hmm. You know, I really like making redstone machines. Unfortunately, the replay mod file wouldn't load past a few hours into the recording, but I still got most of it on the laps. The only problem with this machine is it left oh so many blocks sitting in the air. And I know you're all thinking it's really ugly, but it's okay, cause so am I. But just for you guys, I'ma fix it. And lucky for you idiots, there's a little thing called editing. Ah, much better. You know, I feel like I just keep getting dumber with every video. I just realized I have to obliterate my iron farm because it's in the way of this hole. I could have built the hole anywhere and I decided to build it over my iron farm. Guys, this huge area is only a 16th of the entire hole. Activate speedrun music. After two more days of building, rebuilding, destroying, rebuilding, destroying, rebuilding, destroying, followed by more rebuilding the machine, destroying the machine, and then finally rebuilding the machine once more and then destroying it so I could rebuild it and then destroy it for the last time, I was halfway done with the hole. <sighs> but don't worry, I'm enjoying the process. I've always been a fan of torture. Suddenly, something very bony caught my eyeballs. Yo, what? I'm my on the skeleton fan. Oh, I forgot to mention, I was obsessed with rhyming at this point, and I still haven't figured out why. Stop it. I mean it. Or else I'll eat a peanut. Why do these horses keep killing each other? Ooh, I got a helmet. Oh, pfft, lame. I don't care about that garbo. Oh, snap, I got a bone. Wish it was a cone. Or maybe even a scone. Come on, leave me alone. Call me on my cell phone. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Thank you, thank you. I know I'm amazing at freestyle. I, thank you. The horse was exceedingly fast. Okay, fine. He was actually kind of trash, but I kept him. Name him Jeff with one F. Learned that you can't put horse armor on an undead horse and stuck him in the wall for safekeeping. I take care of my belongings. Also, there was a wandering trader, so I took care of him as well. Hold on. I saw... What did I see? Aha! Little wandering trader nerd over here with a couple of buddies. He's hanging one of the llamas off of a cliff, dangling him. Okay, I gotta rescue this guy. This is just... This is animal cruelty right here. Sir, don't worry. I'm about to rescue you. You will not be hanging much longer. Boom! Problem solved. Now neither of them are hanging. Oh, hey. How's it going? No way! Diamonds! Boys, <laughs> look at how insane this is. This is one corner of it. This is unreal. This is the most insane project I've ever done. Wow, I cannot wait to see what this looks like when I finish it. This is already so crazy. This area is so massive that the only mob that can spawn is slimes. And when I say slimes, I mean slimes. 
I guess what else would I mean? Literal hundreds of cuboidal burgers bouncing around like giant trampolines. But actually, it was really good because I was able to purchase many a slime ball from them, and without them, I would have ran out of slime like a year ago when I started this project. Hey, little guys, time to oh oh oh! <laughs> oh man, the TNT started clipping me. That could not have gone worse. Wait, no, it could have gone worse. Hold up, I thought this was a kid's game. This looks like a giant pie with one slice left. Time to eat that slice, baby. Ah, what a nice time in a perfectly normal cave. Is this a giant hole in the- How did this get- Okay, I can't fake it, but look how massive this is. I spent the better part of the next 18 minutes and 22 seconds removing all the lava that was left behind in the deep recesses of the bedrock. Now, you might be thinking that it's time to build an end island. Idiot. Maybe some other YouTuber called quits on this hole and build the end, but- they call me Oil Can and Beppo for a reason. I have no clue what the reason is or its relevance, but I, I, the point is, I like to go the extra mile. And by mile, I mean bedrock. And by go, I mean break. And by extra, I mean this. And by subscribe, I mean you should subscribe right now before you forget. Now, now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, I can't break bedrock, blah, blah, blah. Clearly, you haven't been introduced with Jeff with two Fs. Jeff is a machine that I whip out on rare occasions and all the time. I used it in the last episode to clear around 20,000 bedrock, but now I'm going to use it to clear just a tiny bit more than 20,000. In fact, it's more bedrock than I can count because it's a lot of bedrock, not just because I can't count very high. And I suppose that brings us to phase three. Breaking the bedrock. This hole is 500 by 500 blocks. That means there's 250,000 bedrock, but that's just in one itty bitty layer. There are five layers. However, each layer of bedrock has more than the previous. So in reality, this is somewhere around 600,000 bedrock. Oh, but that's not all. This machine uses up one piston for each bedrock it breaks. That means I not only need 250,000 pistons and cobblestone slabs to place, but I need them five times. That's 1.25 million pistons and cobblestone slabs that I have to place by hand. And if my math is correct, which it never is, that's over 723 shulker boxes of pistons. And I know you're all asking me, why am I doing this? Because I'm an insane person who loves to torture myself. However, I have a solution. Well, sorta. While the machine runs, the pistons that it uses drop, so I can pick them up. Because of this, I can run the machine on a quarter of the area at a time, and I only need to craft 62,500 pistons. That's all. With speed two and spam clicking, I can place an average of seven blocks a second. That means to place all 1.25 million pistons, it would take me 49 hours. That's 49 hours of placing pistons as fast as I can click. So yes, I got an auto clicker. Sue me. Actually, please don't sue me. I'd like money. Otherwise, this video would be coming out in like 2050. You know, I always see those videos of people getting killed by creepers in their hardcore worlds and well, where are those creepers now? Please take me away. End this. I hate placing pistons. All right, it's been about 30 minutes of placing and this is how far I've gone. To be completely honest, I've placed more than I expected, but we still have an extremely long way to go. Well, I kind of lost track of time, but I think it's been around three hours. I've just been binging Psych in Brooklyn Nine-Nine while placing these. Anyway, check out the progress. Before I start the machine, I need some end stone for the actual end island build. I'm not sure if I'm going to start building the end island while the machine is destroying the bedrock or wait till it's done or what, so I'm just going to get it now. And we're here. Ah! Oh! Oh! What the heck? Oh, the TNT from the dupers back in episode 3 must have gone through the portal and ended up here. Man, that could have gone way worse. After many trips back and forth, I ended up with around 70,000 endstone. Probably more than I need, but I can't be sure. Alright, so I got a nice hole here. Let's just build the machine. And boom. Alright, the big reveal. Is it working? First try. Yes! It's working! I knew it would work. I had no doubts at all. Oh, wait a minute, the bedrock isn't being deleted. Of course it didn't work, this machine never works. I knew it wouldn't work. I, I, I knew it wouldn't. Half an hour later. Aha! I can't believe I actually fixed it. <clears throat> I mean, uh, yeah, I knew this would fix it. I knew it would work, I'm a big brain genius, you know. <laughs> Math, Einstein, smart things. Oh, also, some people were confused about the bedrock breaker last episode, so I'll show you nerds exactly what I have to do. So this layer right here is in the way of the machine going down. So before I had to shrink the machine each time I lowered it and then remove a ton manually, but I have more room here. So instead, I'll leave the machine the same size and just strip manually. <coughs> I mean, remove these strips manually while I wait for the machine to break all the other bedrock. Alright, and there we go. This strip has been lowered. Ooh, I just realized some of the TNT blew up the pistons. That's okay, I can replace them pretty easy. Easily? Easily. Easier. 
Eelzelier. Eelzelier. Yeah, that's the one. Eelzelier. I do grammar. Well, guys, I've been at this for, I think, two or three years now, and I'm almost done with this corner. I got all the layers down to the last one. I've been manually removing these chunks on the sides, but man, I am beat, and my name is Pete. Rhymes, so it must be true. Placing hundreds of thousands of pistons is extremely annoying, but I gotta do what I gotta do, so back to work. Occasionally, a zombie will pick up a piston that was dropped on the ground, and now there's a horde of zombies forced to stay and hold pistons for the rest of existence. Their existence, that is. What the? Creeper? Aw, oh, yeah. Man sitting in a minecart like a fool. Alright, look at that. Everything is perfectly level. One layer to go. Here it is, boys. The final layer look at that that's void right there oh snap this is becoming a reality i've been at this for over a month now and I, I mean i still have to build the end island but this is dude as you can see here, all these 15 hour, 18 hour replay mod clips, these are of the Bedrock Breaker, but as soon as I try to join them, they don't load. It just crashes the game, I think because they're so long. So unfortunately, I can't show you the epic time lapses I had planned, but what I can show you, so if I go to my statistics, here, pistons placed, I can't even, I don't even know what this says, the numbers overlap, like what is that? All right, so after running the machine for almost an entire week and two days at nine hours and 22 seconds, and then doing some serious cleaning up around the edges, this brings us to right here and right now. I present to you, and also me, the hole. Holy cow, this is insane. And I suppose that brings us to phase four, building the end. Oh yeah. All right, first I need to find the very center. Now I have to build to the actual center of the hole and boom. Now I'm just gonna go down. There we go, destroy this and boom, we're here. All right, now I'm building the entire end island. So I'm gonna start with just like a, you know, just a layer here and then I'll just go layer by layer, higher and higher. And it's gonna be hollow in the middle cause I'm not that insane. All right, the second layer will be about this big, I think. Yeah, that's looking good. Now third layer. All right, now instead of doing one layer at a time, I'm gonna start building up. Now this is how I built the mountains in my last episode as well, is you just kind of build up in the corners and then you follow it with the rest of the block. So I've made a basic bowl shape here and- Ooh, there's an Enderman. Oh snap, hold on. I gotta save this Enderman. There we go, name him. I have to keep all the Endermen that I find. That way, once it's actually the end island, I can have it populated with Endermen. All right, so now I have a whole bunch of spikes going up and I'm just gonna fill these in. Well, 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 what do we have here? Just gonna build a little house around you. Yep, this is a house for sure. <laughs> Okay, anyway, how would you, Mr. Llama, like to go on a space adventure? Yeah, I'm gonna fly you boys around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, one of them just fell. <laughs> well, too bad for that one. Oh, and now they're both dead. I wanted that to happen anyway. All right, let's fly over to see what it looks like. Oh, yes. Oh yes, this is looking good so far. I might need to make it a little bit wider though. It's a little small, but this is looking really sick. I mean, look at this. I've placed around 40,000 endstone, I think, um, so far. And yeah, it's looking really cool. It's so huge. There's pillagers here. What the heck? How did you get on this end island? Numbnuts. Oh, now I have the bad omen thing. I can, I can get a totem finally. You guys can finally stop commenting about how I need a totem. <laughs> And a thank you. You know, I'm just gonna leave the raid here. I don't really care. <laughs> Too bad for you, villagers. The raid's gonna keep going, but I'm not gonna save you. All right, look at this, guys. I've finished all of the edges. Now all I have to do is make a top for it, and then we can start the obsidian pillars and the end cities and decorating all that. This is looking so cool. This totally looks like the end. This is sick. Grab some more end stone. There we go. And in the end, it looks like it still layers, like going up and like the middle is the highest part. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing with the layers. Oh, I just realized there's gonna be a ton of mobs spawning down here once I cover it up and I probably don't want that. So I'm gonna light this up a little bit. Never mind, I already ran out of torches. It's probably fine. All right, we're down to the last layers. Little hole, I just gotta fill this in. Oh, look at that, it's a pillager, huh? Oh, look at that, he died. Oh, look at that arrow flying up, wow. All right, anyway. All right, filled in, boys. Check out the end island. Oh, yeah. All right, now I need to make it look actually like the end island. 
So I'm gonna grab the last bit of obsidian that I have, which is I'm almost out, but I think I have just enough for this. There we go. Oh, also, I made my totem look like a piece of steak. So see that steak in my left hand? That's actually just my totem of undying. This way, um, anyone after this episode, you won't know. Everyone that's not watching this is gonna think that it's it's a, a piece of steak, when in reality it's a totem. You know, it's just a fun way to troll the newcomers. So I think this block is the perfect center. Yes, it is. Mark it with obsidian. What is it? 31 this way. 40, 41, and then go this way, 16, and then up, 22, uh, 27, 4, 20, 69, two hours later. All right, so I messed this up like a hundred times trying to get where the obsidian pillars are in the correct places, but I think I finally got it. I don't know how I messed it up so many times. I'm just absolute garbage at making obsidian pillars. But, um, so these are the centers of them. So I'm gonna start building them up like this. That's one, two, three. Also, obsidian pillars are different sizes, so I'm gonna have to randomize the sizes a little bit. But I'm trying to get all the dimensions exactly like they would be in an actual end island. So I have a screenshot of a real end island on my other monitor just so I can make sure I'm doing it right. This one's gonna be absolutely massive. All right, that's all 10. Now I'm gonna actually build up the obsidian pillars. All right, there it is, boys. We got all the obsidian pillars in place. This is starting to really take shape and look sick. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to build the end portal right here. And since, you know, I can't get bedrock, instead, I'll use deep slate, cobbled deep slate. It looks similar to bedrock. You know, if you don't if you don't know the texture of bedrock really well, it looks kind of like it. So I'm just gonna build the end portal right here. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Oh, I need something that looks like the actual portal blocks themselves though. Hmm. All right, next, I need some end crystals because it's not the end without end crystals, obviously. So I'm gonna go to the nether, find some ghasts, kill some ghasts, grab some gas tears. Gravel. Ready for this, boys? It's gonna be the most satisfying. Oh, yes. All right, and end crystals acquired. I'm also gonna grab some blackstone for the portal block because I think if I make blackstone slabs, that'll look similar to an end portal block. I might be wrong. We'll see. It's more of an experiment, really. All right, I also made some iron bars because in case you don't know, some of the end crystals have iron bars around them in the end. So I think that'll really top it off, you know, make it look perfect. And usually there's a bedrock block that they're on top of. So I'm going to see if I can place it on top of these. And nope, I can't place it on that. Rats. Well, I'm not. I, you can't complain. That still looks pretty good. So I'm just going to put that on all of them. And crystal in the center. All right. Now this one, I'm going to put some iron bars around because it looks sick. Well, actually, just because it looks realistic. But, you know, I think it looks kind of cool anyway. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Boom ba doom ba doom boom ba. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make some polished blackstone slabs. These normal blackstone slabs don't don't quite cut it. They're just a little bit too textury. So I think polished blackstone slabs will really, really look good, I hope. Maybe actually it'll look like the portal. Honestly, yeah. No, it kinda works. It, it it does work. It looks good. If you don't like, you know, look at it with a telescope, then actually it's <laughs> I like it. Now, as dope as this end looks right now, it, you know, you would think it's finished if you were an idiot. Good thing you guys aren't idiots because I need some end cities in this joint. I, I want an end city, maybe some chorus fruit, some shulkers. Oh yes, I need shulkers. Okay, to get shulkers, I need a whole bunch of rails and mine carts. So go to the gold farm. Oh yes, tons of gold. Sweet. All right, that's more than enough gold, I hope. And make all of the rails. Very nice. All right, to the end. Oh, there's an end city. Sweet, already. Actually, it's, uh, it's kind of small. Small. Probably only has like one shulker in it anyway. Now nah, let's go to a different end city. Oh, yes. Now that that is an end city. The last one was more of an end house. This is an end city. It's even got a boat. All right. So first I'm almost on the exact axis so I can just go build a thousand blocks in one direction. I'll make it to the end portal because um, the outer islands are actually part of the end if you don't know. So I'm just going to bridge this way. One thousand blocks. Um, this might take a minute. Oh yes, okay, there's the island. Sweet! So if you don't remember, the end portal is in the center of this upside down island. So if I break in right here, yeah, there's a bedrock right underneath this. Sweet! All right, now it's time to place rails on this because I'm gonna be bringing shulkers in minecarts over here. Normal rail, powered rail, and we made it. Oh. And I have levitation. All right, I got that one shulker in the box. Sweet, but now I have to send him away. It's gonna be difficult. Get a powered rail underneath him. Yes. Okay, okay. And now if I power this. Yes. See ya. All right. 
Now I just have to do that just a few more times. Boom. Peace. All right, now that I've got a couple shulkers on the way over there, I'm gonna mine down a bunch of this end city because I need these blocks to rebuild an end city. All right, I've got like three and a half shulker boxes of end city loot. Now let's go to the island. Oh man, this guy keeps trying to shoot me as we're going. Look at that. You just, the bullets don't go fast enough. Ha, <laughs> you're bad. All right, now comes the very difficult part. So they aren't in the portal yet. As you can see, they're just chilling right over here. Um, I'm gonna go into the end portal. Okay, now I'm gonna use a compass to find the exact spawn. Now I'm gonna make some rails that go into a nether portal because the end island is like 2,000 blocks away from spawn. So I'm gonna go through the nether because it'll be a much shorter travel. Now I have to make it to the top of the bedrock. Sweet, all right, we're up, build another portal. All right, now it's time to send the shulkers into the portal. Uh, guys, <laughs> um, why is he not going in the portal? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Okay, it turns out the problem was it was because he was in a boat, or I mean in a minecart, so the minecart wouldn't go through the portal, but I just broke the minecart, so we're good now. All right, now get the strokers over into the next portal. Boom, boom. All right. Whew. That was way too long, but I got all the shulkers over into the end island. Now it's time to build uh, the end city. Okay, now that it's night, I'm gonna go around and name all of the Endermen that I find so that they don't despawn, because I just want a ton of Endermen to populate this area. Otherwise, it's not as realistic. Oh yeah, check out that end city. Wait, where are all the Endermen? I named like 15 or 20 of them. I'm so confused. Oh, they're inside of the island. They just teleported in there and they stayed in there. All right, I think I've completely filled it up with water. So Endermen should not be able to teleport into here any longer and they'll have to stay on top of the island. All right, now I have to bring the shulkers to the actual end city. All right, there's one right here. It's gonna be hard to keep them because I don't want them to be in minecarts, but I think if I just leave them and I don't get too close to it, they won't teleport around because shulkers can teleport. All right, sending this last shulker up to the very top. All right, sweet. I've got all the shulkers in place. Now I'm just gonna take this down and boom. All right, guys. This took me over a month to do. Most of it was just placing pistons. Like the bedrock breaking took the longest. That was the most insane part. But this is a 500 by 500 hole with the end island built in the middle. It's funny because digging the hole took me 90% of the time. Building the end island, that was the easy part. That, that took like no time compared to all the other stuff. But this is insane. I have no clue how I'm going to top this in the next video. So give me any ideas if you have for a future video because, oh man, nothing is off the table. Most insane thing you can think of. Peace.